In this tutorial, we are going to use a line tracker, sometimes called a line follower, in the Robot C program. I want to write a code for the line tracker that turns a motor on for three seconds whenever I cover the sensor on the switch. I have a build set up and I want to go and write the code for it. Again, this is going to be a natural language command. If I look in the until command settings, I see that there's until dark with a threshold for what that would be and until light with a threshold for what that would be. The way I try to remember these when I code for the line tracker is that they are backwards from what would be intuitive. So if I want to write a code that turns the motor on when I cover the switch, I'm actually going to use the until light command. If I want the switch to turn a motor on when it goes above a certain light threshold, I'm actually going to use the until dark command. These seem counterintuitive, a little bit backwards, but it works that way. Let's go into Robot C and see what this looks like. Motor in Robot C, I have a simple command that's going to start a motor, have it run for three seconds, and then stop that motor. I'm going to go under Natural Language, find my Until command, and then go down. And I have to remember that since it's backward, I'm going to use Until Light. I'm going to drag that over to my screen going to be my first command because I don't want anything to happen until that switch is tripped. Still I'm going to make sure that it's between the two curly brackets on my screen because the computer will only read code between those curly brackets. Threshold I have is 1000 and when I look at my build the line tracker is plugged into analog port 1. Analog all I have to do is type in IN for shorthand and a 1. I will compile this program. There are no errors, so now I'm going to download it to the robot. Before this starts, I'm going to go to the robot in the toolbar at the top. Halfway down again, I'm going to use the debugger window. Mouse down to the word sensors. And I should be able to see that the error box at the bottom of my screen now has all my sensor values. The line tracker, or line follower, is a little over 3,000. And that should be good to start my program. So I'm going to click start. I'm going to move my hand over the line tracker button and let's see if the motors start when that value goes down. I did notice the line follower value was 900 which is below the 1000 threshold we had set and I could hear the motor starting. 